Hey guys, what's going on? Back for uh, another video. This time on uh, Patriots Off-Season Talk. This is going to be uh, episode 6, and we are going to talk about some unsung heroes of this year. Um, I have three that I would like to talk about. The unsung heroes guys are, are guys that, that really don't get the uh, recognition that they, you know, in my opinion, that they that they deserve and they they were huge parts of the uh huge parts of the success of why you know and a big part of the reason why the patriots uh had the run that they did and they won the super bowl again so i have three so let's let's uh start out here my first one is going to be uh james devlin and for those of you guys who don't know who james devlin is he's the fullback for the new england patriots and uh i talked about him a lot on a previous video I made, the Sony Michelle video, I, I talked about him a lot, and and uh, I kind of I attribute his blocking and his ability to get uh, Sony Michelle to that second level and into uh, the you know into some open space. Um, why you know Sony was so successful because James uh, James Devlin's ability to kind of set the edge or 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 get through the defensive line and set a block on a linebacker and spring Sony Michelle. Sorry guys, my cat's about to hijack my my video here. So his, like I was saying, uh, Devlin's ability to to set a block on a linebacker or a defensive end, or even like a kickout block uh, on a on a dive play up the middle, just just key blocks and key situations to 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 get Sony Michelle into that second level. Um, to so Michelle can use his speed and his quick feet to his advantage, and uh, I don't think Devlin uh got the kind of recognition that that he should have. So he's my my number one guy that that uh, I would definitely give kind of an uns unsung hero for the uh, Patriots year. Uh, the number two number two would have to be um, J C Jackson, and J C Jackson is a uh, a backup uh, defensive back for us. He plays in a lot of uh, nickel and dime situations where there's uh, multiple, uh, you know, a lot, you know, a, a, a more uh, defensive backs on the field. Um, he's a like a gadget kind of kind of uh, defensive back, um, and he played exceptionally well this year as well. He, especially as the season went on, he uh, he kind of started out shaky in the beginning of the season. Um, you know, he missed he missed a couple of uh, of big uh, um, plays and and let a couple of guys get behind him and and kind of kind of blew some coverages earlier in the year. But as the season went on, he got he was put in a in more than a few uh, high pressure situations, and asked to um, asked to do a lot, and and I I think he uh, he stepped up to those expectations and and uh, did a really good job. So he's um, I think he has he also has a, a really bright future with this team, and I hope they uh, I hope when his contract is up that they. They do what they can to uh, to keep him here because I do think that that kid has a, a real bright future uh, on this team. So I would like to see him here for a while. So that's my number two. Um, my number three, uh, it was kind of a toss up between uh, Trent Brown and and David Andrews, but this is kind of you know kind of like an unsung heroes thing. And and Trent Brown did get a lot of attention through. Um, throughout the year uh, uh lots of negative stuff in the beginning uh because he he um didn't he didn't really perform well in the beginning of the year probably uh, more than just the beginning of the year probably up until the halfway point he uh he um he wasn't really living up to what he was uh supposed to be but but after i think after about week 10 he he definitely turned a corner and and uh the guys uh, true colors and performance shined. He was such, I mean, a huge reason why, why the, the Pats were able, you know, to go on the run that they did. He would, you know, that in the entire offensive line, you could really, an unsung hero, you know, you could really put the entire offensive line 
But um, one of one guy in particular that I picked, he's my my number three kind of unsung hero, would be David Andrews, um, because the quarterback isn't really the only one that that makes a lot of pre snap reads and and kind of sets the sets the uh, blocking schemes and and uh, you know is is pointing out blitzing linebackers and coverage situate you know and the situation kind of set up at the offensive line is is the center so i i picked uh david andrews as my number three because uh even though you could really put the entire patriots offensive line as a as a uh a unit as the you know kind of third unsung hero but i had to pick one so i picked uh andrews because between him and brady pointing out the blocking schemes and the coverages and and all the pre-snap reads there uh from from probably week 10 on the the they did a, a phenomenal job of protecting Brady and, and blocking for these running backs and, and you know, giving Brady time to do what he does in the pocket. Um, it was just really impressive to watch. So, And I do think uh, Andrews has a, a bright future here, and he's just another guy that I would like to see here uh, continue to stay here long term. Um, so those were my three guys that uh, I thought – you know, didn't really get the mention and the, the kind of recognition that they deserve, but were uh, were very big reasons why the uh, Pats had the success that they did. Um, it's you know they they're all all three of them are grinders. They they you know they're scrappy guys. They they they're just the kind of guys that I like that I like on a on a team. They're uh, all you know they're all all in on the team and all team players. So uh, those are my three kind of unsung heroes, guys, for the year. Um, as always, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate you watching, uh, all the likes, the uh, comments. Um, I appreciate it all, guys. Uh, as always, I will talk to you next time, and go Patriots.